we'll get our acceleration now. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a pretty unique truck. So this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Longhorn, 10th anniversary edition, and it's also an EcoDiesel. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for providing me with this truck. Check out them, turn the link below. Let's get right into the video. Under the hood of this Longhorn, we have the three liter V6 EcoD. So that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 260 horsepower and then 480 pound feet of torque. Go to the front end of this Longhorn. So first and foremost, you do have the little badge right here that says 1500 Eco Diesel, and you still have the normal hood. Nothing's changed there. We've got the full LED lights with the projector bulbs, which just absolutely insane, super super bright at night. I always get blinded by them, which is uh, pretty interesting. And if you're wondering, this is the ivory tri coat. So an easy way to tell is you'll have this nice metallic flake in the paint, and then yes, it's two tone. So it's got the lower two tone on the bottom with the brown fog lights here at the bottom. You've got parking sensors all along the bottom and these tow hooks are just so nice like I could never imagine using them because of just how nice they look and then you can see a little front camera right there but other than that that is the front end here on the Longhorn. Now coming around the side here you've got 275 millimeter tires and 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well and I really like the wheels here on the Longhorn. I love how they have that brown there in the center to kind of go with the Longhorn theme and this one does have air suspension. You guys can see a little canister right there and then I really like the tires this one has from the factory. You could do some light off-roading with these tires and they're gonna be great in the winter as well and then you got your Ram Longhorn badge. You can see the two tones all over the fender flares all along the side and this one does have the trailer tow mirrors as well but here is your full side view on the truck. Now let's go into the bed here of the Longhorn. This one does have the multifunction tailgate. So you should have plastic covering here on this part. And then you've got the spray and liner for the rest of the tailgate. And this one does have the LED lights as well. So you just press that in and that'll pop the light on. This does have the cargo sliders here because it does have the bed utility group. So overall, I mean, here in the bed range, it's pretty much fully loaded. It has every single option. And yes, it does have the LED cargo light up there at the top as well. Now let's go over the rear end here on the Longhorn. So first and foremost with the tailgate, all you have to do is just press that button right there and that'll unlock that portion. And then we've got the little thing right here on the side and then I'll open the other portion of it. So you've got like the little barn door function. And then with this, it's kind of hard to get out, but you just have to slip your foot in like that and then pull it back. And that's how you get the kick step out. But it's a lot easier to actually get in because all you have to do is just kick it back in. So a little bit inconvenient with that. Not as easy as the other kick step, but at least you still get it with the multifunction tailgate. And then when you're done with the tailgate, all you have to do is just shut it like little barn doors. Make sure you do it in order though. And if you guys are wondering if it's shut, then basically if you press the top latch and it still opens, that means you didn't shut it fully. But then if you press the top latch and then the bed will open regularly, that's how you know you shut it fully. And then you've got dual outlet exhaust back here, even though it has EcoD, so we've got the receiver hitch as well full LED lights here and then you got your little Longhorn badge and if you guys are running on towing capacity this one has the 392 gears so the towing is just over 9,000 pounds. Now actually taking a look at the door panel here in the rear you've got all the leather here with the lighter brown stitching and then you have the suede insert that goes all the way across which just looks really nice. Premium wood trim and I love the embroidery down here but yeah just overall Super nice material use on the door panel. And then coming to the seat, again, really nice leather with a suede insert all throughout. I love how it says limited Longhorn edition, but it's cool that you have the suede with the nicer leather. Normally you have to get the Laramie to get the suede, but like you get everything in one here. And yes, we have side steps. So let's actually step in. So step in height, it's really easy to get in with those side steps. If you're running, I'm 5'11". I've got a good amount of headroom. And then you can see my leg room's good. And yes, I know short socks with pants, just it's weird, but I'm weird. Anyways. You can see you've got a little ice bucket here as well. And then look, on the back of the seat, they have the suede too. And it's a regular back here, but then they just have like the saddlebag portion just for show basically. We've got some cup holders here with more of the wood trim. A couple of vents back here. And then you can see you've got the heated and cooled seats here for the rear, a couple of USBs, and then a full power outlet. And this pulls down to be a center console, which is pretty neat. And then this is a 60-40 split. So picking this up, well, I guess that stuff will fall down. You can see there's some extra storage space. And yes, this does come with a recline seat. So you just do that. And um, I'm going to take a nap before the next portion of the video. 
let's take a look at the door panel here in the front. So again, you've got all the really nice leather with the lighter colored brown stitching, and they have the suede insert all throughout. And then again, you've got the wood trim with the embroidery and then the soft touch leather just down below. Memory seats right here, and then you've got a couple more speakers for that Harman Kardon sound system. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, really nice premium leather with all of the suede all throughout. And then you've got the limited Longhorn Edition right there. We've got our adjustments here on the side of the seat. And then here is the pedal layout. And I love how even the carpet they did in the mountain brown. But you can see you've got your parking brake right here, your adjustments for your pedals, light controls as well. And there's one more look before we pop in. Now here is the steering wheel in the Longhorn 10th Anniversary Edition. So you've got the really nice wood trim there at the top and the smooth leather all the way around. And then again, lighter stitching on the inside. And they got more wood trim here at the bottom. We've got our cruise control here and then you've got the adaptive cruise control just right next to it. And then you have the gear limiter. And then over here, we've got our voice commands, controls for the center stack, radio controls on the back. So volume this side and then channel on the other side. And then you have the little stock for the windshield wipers and that's everything for the steering wheel. Here in the center stack, I really like the custom gauges that come with the Longhorn. Just the overall design of them looks really, really cool. And then you've got that little center screen. This is just like any other Ram truck. So the new thing for 2021 is just this page right up here. You got little off-road status. They kind of stole that from Jeep, but other than that, really good looking center stack and that's all. Now we've got the whole 12 inch display right here in this little area. At the top of it, you have the control for the lane departure assistance and then your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. And then you've got climate controls on either side of it for the dual zone climate and then your analog radio controls. And then here at the bottom, you can see you've got your parking sensors to turn them on or off, your tow haul mode, stability control. This is for the air suspension to raise or lower it from the interior. And then this one does have the trailer steering as well. Like I said, it has the trailer mirrors, which you guys saw that earlier, but you can actually power fold these in pretty straightforward with that. And then they do have the flip up function. You guys have seen the trailer mirrors a million times in my videos. We've got the trailer brake control right here. And then as for the rest of the 12 inch display, let's actually pop it into reverse first and foremost. So when we pop it into reverse, you'll see that the backup camera will pop up. You've got the bird's eye view as well. And you can see through here, you can pop through a bunch of different viewpoints with the truck. And you've got little zoom function on the receiver hitch. But overall, camera system's really easy to use and it's really good as well with this truck. Other than that, you do have split screen with like the controls tab and you can obviously deploy the steps whenever you want. And then you've got your heated seats and heated steering wheel and then your ventilated seat controls there on top of that. And the navigation, fills up the whole screen which is pretty neat um, but other than that they haven't really added anything new onto the truck um, from like the touchscreen standpoint for the 2021 model year it's pretty much all the same but uh still good screen now we've got our little drive mode select here and you can see pretty straightforward with that and then you do have your two-wheel drive your four-wheel auto your four-wheel high and then your four-wheel low right next to it with the true neutral and then coming over here we've got the center console which again you've got your 10th anniversary edition from 2011 to 2021 and opening it up you see storage space is decent got a little measuring table there and then it slides back and forth and again they continue the really like you guys need to feel this in person the wood just feels so so nice in this truck and then coming over here you can see you've got a couple little areas for usb this is where the cd player used to be rip cd player wireless phone charging and then there's a full power outlet just down below. And then in this whole area right here, we can see you've got more of the soft touch leather here with the lighter brown stitching. And then again, dual glove box with the wood trim on the that glove box. And then you got the felt right in here. But yeah, if you have a chance, just just do that in person and uh, thank me later. Now, first and foremost, this does have the camera mirror. So this has the trailer steering and the camera mirror, which confirmed my suspicion from another video, wondering if you can get both of those options in one, which uh, you definitely can. And then coming up to this portion of the top, you can see these are just like the controls for the power sliding window, for example. And then this does have a panoramic center and then you can lower down the tailgate as well. Nothing too crazy there, but they do a lighter colored headliner. So it matches the rest of the interior. Now that we're done going with the interior on this Longhorn, let's quickly get into pricing. So this Longhorn stickers for about 21 full grown cows. It's a long, anyways, the truck stickers for about $76,000 for any type of market adjustment. Let's take this bad boy out and see how it drives.
Let's quickly talk about visibility here in the Longhorns. You can see visibility of the hood's really good. And then you get your visibility through both of the mirrors. And then you do have that little cool camera mirror as well. And then here's a visibility throughout the rear of the Longhorn. So it's really solid in general. And that all being said, well, let's set off, but not into these people, but let's set off. We are initially setting off in the Longhorn 10th anniversary edition. And let's actually talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So first and foremost, from a ride quality perspective, just like all the other new generation Ram 1500s, even the heavy duties as well, rides really smooth for a half ton. This is definitely the smoothest half ton on the market. They call it the Mercedes Benz of trucks for a reason. It's got a nice interior and it rides really nice. So really solid on that. Pretty minimal on the tire noise and in terms of the wind noise, yeah, you don't really hear a whole lot. So overall it gives you a really nice luxury feeling on the interior. And I think up to date, this is probably the most fully loaded truck I've ever reviewed on the channel because it literally has every single option except for Ram boxes. So pretty crazy build in general. Um, but continuing along here, let's kind of see how the body roll is with the truck. So yeah, really minimal with the body roll on the truck. It's actually handles really well in general. So you're solid on that. And it's cool to see the little heads up display too. I did forget to mention that in the walk around, but you guys did see it in my limited review. So, uh, nothing's changed since then with the uh, heads up display. We're going to let this person, uh, go through and the brakes work really well, but apparently they're not moving. So, uh. I guess that we're probably gonna move now. Some people just, um, I don't know, they just don't take a hint. So getting up here, we're gonna take another turn and kind of see how the truck movers around this. Yeah, really easy to steer and everything. I mean, you can still feel that it's a truck, but it definitely is really easy to control. So much torque from that eco diesel. It's not crazy quick or anything like that, but we'll get a real acceleration coming up here and I wanna kind of test the braking. So we're gonna kind of stop at more of like a considerable pace. Yeah, braking is really good on the truck, so I'm sure it's gonna be solid with a trailer, and man, we always run into traffic. But I mean, it is kind of like a rush hour. Everyone's probably trying to get to Thanksgiving and everything. Guys, my YouTube video is more important than Thanksgiving right now, just kidding. But we'll get our acceleration now. Yeah, that Eco is so torquey. It, it's not crazy powerful. Obviously you guys heard the horsepower figure, 260 horsepower, but it has so much torque that it just gets up and goes. It doesn't feel like crazy quick, but it just keeps pulling and pulling, which is really nice. And I mean, I'm impressed that I really like the Eco Diesel. I actually wouldn't mind having a truck with this engine in it. And let's actually sum things up with this Longhorn. So I know everyone's gonna be like, the price is crazy, but this is like your fully loaded, top of line, every single option added minus Ram boxes. And I think it's a really cool truck. This definitely, I mean, it ticks all the boxes. It has the cool modern tech that Ram now has. You have the best ride quality in the business. You have a pretty cool Eco Diesel. I, me personally, I'd probably opt for the 5.7 Hemi just because I like the power. But if you want better fuel economy, the Eco Diesel is gonna be the route to go and that torque, it's so good, it's so good. Um, but yeah, better fuel economy compared to the Hemi. And as an overall package with this 10th anniversary edition, I think it looks really good. I mean, the Longhorns and journals look good on the exterior. This interior is so beautiful. I know that some people might not be too partial to brown, but other than the fact that this interior is brown, I think this is probably the most beautiful interior I've ever seen in a pickup truck. Absolutely love it. And so if you're looking for something crazy, this truck, and I also noticed that's kind of weird, but this truck, it, it fits that box. That is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ram 1500 Longhorn 10th Anniversary Edition. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for providing us with the truck. Check out the inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in the next